A small secluded Ontario lake has been chosen from a dozen sites around the world to represent a major tipping point in the planet's history. Here's CTV's John Vennavelli Rao. This lake southwest of Toronto is relatively tiny, but has some big things to say about how we humans have changed the earth. The lake is going to become very famous if, if the proposal goes through. The proposal, agreed upon today by a panel of geologists meeting in France, is to make Crawford Lake a global symbol of a new chapter in geologic time called the Anthropocene Epoch, which is hotly debated and something Canadian scientists have been pushing for. And it's so rewarding for us uh, to, to reach this goal today that we've been working at this for five years. Researchers have been extracting from the lake annually frozen samples of the sediment that lies below. The lake is unique in that it's deep and undisturbed, and those samples have layers made up of whatever sank to the bottom each year, making up a record like tree rings. So we can count back. We can count back and we can identify any year you're interested in. The layers from the early 1950s show evidence of plutonium, from the testing of atomic bombs, and their signs of other human byproducts, pollution and industrialization. We're able to pick up this disturbance from Hamilton, the, the uh, steel mills. We're able to pick up the, the fossil fuel contaminants from the steel mills in the 1950s. Because of accelerating human activity, the scientists say, the Earth's rocks themselves are responding to those changes. And some think it marks the end of what's been called the Holocene Epoch, which goes back almost 12,000 years. And the new human-caused Anthropocene Epoch is well underway. In the sediment core, the boundary between the two can be seen. Several more groups of scientists still have to approve it all. But if they do, this Canadian lake may offer up a record for a long time to come of when we truly change the planet. John Benavelli Rouse, CTV News, Toronto.